what is up guys jeremy here and welcome back to another video so as requested i'm going to show you guys how to manually install a theme onto your device this is a theme that you can find like from google drive or somewhere um, basically anywhere that's not from cydia uh, so this is how you're going to do it you're going to need a couple of things to start you will need a free application from cydia called filesa that's going to allow you to move files around as you guys will see later in this video and I also recommend iCleaner just because the theme that we're installing um, does alter the icons within the weather application. And when you use iCleaner and it basically clears all the cache on your device, it will update the app to show the icons. So uh, that is another necessary tool. Um, if you're just using this for a theme for your icons, uh, you probably won't need the iCleaner part. Um, but like I said, I'm just using it to refresh the applications. Uh, so the theme we're going to be installing is called... Um, line and colorful weather it's going to change the icons within the weather app um, i'm sure you guys know what the stock icons look within there as you can see what they look like right now at the end of the video they will be changed and also the icons within the weather module within control center it will alter those as well so to start we're going to jump into twitter just because that's where i found the link for this um, weather that I'm using the weather theme it is by Ryan Wu so shout out to you for creating this theme it's definitely a really cool theme uh, I'll leave the link for this down in the description as well in case you guys do want to install this theme it's really cool uh, so you can see there's the Google Drive link we'll click on it and now we will have to open this up in Safari itself we're still in Tweetbot so just click on the little Safari icon on the bottom right there and it will open it within the Safari app and now we can download it. So click on download and then you guys will see um, you can open it within Filesa. You're going to need to do that. So click on open in Filesa. Like I said, Filesa is necessary to do this. So as you can see, there is line in colorful weather theme dot zip. It's a zip file. So to unzip it, just click on it. It's pretty simple. And there is the theme. As you guys can see, I've done this for other themes like Nuvox, which is a really cool app icon theme. Uh, so from here, we're going to need to move the theme folder into the themes to enable with Anemone. So what you do is you click the edit button in the upper right. And then you click on the folder that you're going to want to move. Go ahead and click on the copy button in the lower left. Now we're going to need to move it. So let's back all the way out. As you guys can see, it's as far as we can go. We're going to swipe down until we see library. Go ahead and go into the library folder and swipe down again until you see the themes folder go ahead and open that up and then all we got to do now is paste the theme into this folder so we click on your little clipboard click on paste and there is the theme it has been added to the themes folder and now it is available within anemone uh, to um, use on your device so that's all we needed files for was to unzip it and to move it now we can go ahead and go over to anemone Let it load up here, and if we swipe all the way to the bottom, as you can see, there is line and colorful weather. So just open up the theme, check it to enable it, click on preview, click on apply, and now the theme has been applied. Now this is where we're going to need iCleaner to refresh the weather app. So let's go ahead and open it, and it, it has not updated yet, as you guys can see. Even if you end it from multitasking and open it again, the theme is still not enabled. And I'm pretty sure within um, Control Center, it has not been enabled there either. If you do a respring on your device, it will enable it within Control Center, but it will not in the weather app. And that's why we want iCleaner, just like I said, because it clears all the cache of your, your, your device and it just makes it work, which is really nice. So um, iCleaner is free within Cydia as well. Just click on the clean button. We'll let our device go ahead and refresh. Give it a minute to load here. Once it's done cleaning everything up, it will ask you to respring once we get that pop up and there we go go ahead and click on yes and it will respring our device and it will update all of the applications or basically clear all the cache of everything on your device which updates the theme and you guys will see that it is enabled after we're done respringing here in just a second all right let's go ahead and unlock our device let's go ahead and open up the weather application and as you guys can see all of the icons have changed to this new theme and i think it's a really cool looking theme um Let's go ahead and exit out of the weather app and check out control center as you guys can see it has updated there as well uh, like i said just a really cool theme to have also that's basically how you manually install a theme uh, onto your device 
you download it, you open it within Files, uh, you unzip it, and you move the folder to the Themes folder um, as I showed you guys how to navigate to that. Uh, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That'll help me out a lot here at the channel. Um, also, like I said, I'll leave all the information of everything I covered in the description of everything you need to do this. Uh, but anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Later.